What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just subscribed to Go Ready Made Meals at GoReadyMade.com. Prepared fresh meals. And this is the steak with peppercorn sauce. I just took it out of the microwave. Microwave did only for three minutes because I have a pretty high powered microwave. You actually have to uh, kind of vent everything. And then this peppercorn sauce, uh, which just comes out fridge like this, kind of looks like salad dressing. Just uh, popped it. And now I will drizzle this all over my steak here. And as you can see, it smells good. It's really piping hot. So man, my microwave must be just like a nuclear reactor. But I uh, just wanna show you some of these meals, give you my impressions of them as we dive into it. So it's really no harder than venting the, uh, the plastic and then I have peeled it away. I always microwave everything. So personally for me, that's kind of my preferred way to do it just because of the speed and the convenience. So you can see here the roasted potatoes have chives or spices on them. That's pretty darn good. Um, the uh, carrots here. Mm, soft and tasty. But what we're all wondering is, does steak... That comes from a prepared meal is it any good and like most steaks you will need a little steak knife to cut yourself off a piece but here's what that looks like mmm mmm it's really good obviously because of how hot the steak was the sauce on there kind of warms up a little bit but man it's actually really good I'm just really really surprised you know because I know the technology is there to figure out how much they should cook this so that when you do microwave it, it kind of finishes off the cooking. But this is really good. I'm really impressed with this. Steak with peppercorn sauce, crisp potatoes, green beans. This is definitely a winner. Go back on my uh, reorder list here. Let's try some more. All right, checking out another one of these. Go ready made. This is the smoky chicken fajitas with peppers and onions. I really want to check this one out because it looked really good to me. Uh, you basically open up the plastic and you take out the tortilla here tortillas, tortillas, and the uh, cheese, and then the sour cream, so I've opened those up. I've taken one of the tortillas out and put it on a plate here, and then you microwave the rest, and I did mine actually, it says for three minutes, and so you can see green beans, onions, tomatoes, and then it looks like some spiced chicken in there. So I could just put a little bit of chicken uh, and some of these um, peppers on here, sprinkle a little cheese, because it's gonna be pretty hot at the moment. And then also squirt a little bit of this sour cream on there. That's really good. Hot chicken fajitas. Chicken isn't overly spicy, but it's really hot and then kind of cut with that cold uh, sour cream and the cheese on there. It was great. I love it. Another winner from Go Ready Made. All right, so I'm really interested in trying this meal because I love salmon, but this one is actually interesting. Creamy dill salmon. Uh, you basically peel off and vent to this side because that's gonna be easy, but the salmon, which was wrapped, which you might've seen separately, is actually raw. So hopefully it's like sushi grade, so I can't screw it up. And then it says on the instructions to uh, unpack the salmon out of its bag, put it back in the tray and season as desired, which I'm assuming is this green pesto looking thing. It also comes with the uh, creamy dill sauce here, but I'm gonna put that on after it's cooked. Now it says to bake the sucker for four minutes in a microwave. If you have a thousand watt microwave, mine is a little more powerful than that. So I'll probably do three and a half minutes and see how it is. Uh, maybe do the four if necessary. So this one, because it's not cooked, man, I am really interested to see how this one turns out. Let's try it. All right, just took it out of the oven and or the microwave oven, I should say, for four minutes. Thought I'd rather overcook it than get myself uh, sick, but I'll tell you what, it smells pretty good. I've never cooked fish in a microwave before. I guess there's no reason that you couldn't. Obviously the potatoes here and the beans all look pretty good and pretty typical. Mm, pretty good. But you can absolutely season this with the, the creamy dill sauce here, which I'm gonna do, but just to kind of get into the fish a little bit here because I think I don't want to cover it up with the sauce and rob you of my kind of my first thoughts about it. I will tell you, it smells pretty good. Like regular salmon and looks kind of like a traditionally cooked salmon. Hmm. 
Wow. I never would have guessed. Cooking fish in the microwave. Guess there's no reason not to, but it tastes good. It's hot and uh, soft and delicious. Tastes like salmon to me. I mean, like any other cooked salmon. Uh, definitely gonna put the sauce on there too now, but uh, pretty awesome. I'm really surprised by this one and I like it. Let's try another one. Uh, this one to try, it's the butter basted chicken with thyme, carrots, and parmesan mash. And I will say that uh, one thing to note here is that, again, it, there's a little bit of prep. You got to pull off this part of the plastic and there's this little butter patty which you put on the chicken. And then you put this sauce on afterwards. So, you know, I have a pretty powerful microwave. So I, don't, I always do it on the short end of the microwaving time recommendation, but... Let's give it a little try. Obviously very buttery, uh, so I'm not saying that this is the perfect diet food, but it sure makes it taste good. Chicken looks nice and done. Buttery, but oh my gosh, delicious. Carrots with thyme, one of my favorite seasonings. Mm. Parmesan mash, huh? I mean, tastes like mashed potatoes to me. Maybe just a little hint of a cheesy taste to it. Ah, that's good. It's way better than I expected. I really like this. Let's try another one. All right, guys, this is the last meal in this particular order for me. So this is the Korean beef bowl with shredded carrot, zucchini, and rice. It looks like bibimbap. Yeah, that's how you say it. Look at the rice here, carrots, and uh, zucchini. Now, I will say this is actually ooh, long rice, too. Uh, this is actually one of the quickest ones to make. It was only two minutes. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty nice. And then you have the shredded beef on this side, and it actually comes with a packet of sauce. So you open this thing up, and you pour the sauce on the meat. So I'm probably going to move it around here a little bit, just kind of mix it up. But you can see where I kind of dump that meat. It smells like a teriyaki-ish sauce. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. That's actually really good. Um, definitely like a kind of a sweet teriyaki taste on that. Wow, well, it's way better than I expected. Hmm, it's really delicious. Another uh, another winner. I really like this Go Ready Made. I'll tell you what. As far as I can tell, comparison wise to my Freshly, they they have more calories per meal, which I actually think is a positive because the Freshly meals being at four or five hundred calories aren't super calorie heavy. So if you're kind of on a calorie restrictive diet, that's probably a great one. But um, Go Ready Made really goes for, I think the experience, a really high quality and um, lots of taste and flavor, uh, you know, almost kind of skewing more to comfort food and not overly indulgent. I mean, 740 calories is hardly unhealthy, I think. So really enjoy this. I'm going to definitely try out some more of these, but I just wanted to give you a preview of the meals. If you want to pick up Go Ready Made, I'll put a link to it in the description. I think that will get you a discount on your first meals. Uh, and so feel free to use that. Uh, just uh, in full disclosure, I may get like a small credit towards my future purchases as well. So kind of keep that in mind. You don't have to use it, but you might as well save money if you can. Go Ready Made. I like it. Peter Von Panda. Out.